As conservator of natural sciences, Lisa Elkin has a lot of concerns. Try 30 million. That's how many specimens are under her watch here at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Previously, Lisa worked in the institution's anthropology lab doing treatments. However, now her duties involve initiating strategies dealing with preventative preservation of the research collection. Her recommendations are then passed on to individual departments for the actual conservation work. With a lot of the research collections, it's less about what the specimen looks like. For example, if you have a lizard and the tail's broken off, it doesn't really matter to the researcher as long as you have the tail. So treating it doesn't really make sense most of the time. What makes sense is making sure it's housed safely and securely, that it has good support, that the relative humidity and the temperature is appropriate for the specific collection. A typical research project for Lisa involves these seal hair specimens. She's trying to determine the best dyes to use in a taxidermist treatment. It's a sensitive treatment and we want to make sure that if we actually do do the recoloring that we're using a material that's going to be stable and light fast and isn't going to change the physical properties of the hair so that we can maintain the specimens over time. So we're looking at a lot of different kinds of pigments and pigment dye mixtures. So these are um, mounted skeletons from the ornithology collection. Lisa's office is an artifact infirmary. Here the wounded and Warren await her prognosis. So a lot of these are very dirty and they have a lot of elements that are fragile and that are breaking and vulnerable to loss. The wing of the bat split because it's very re responsive to fluctuations in relative humidity. So he was brought up here because there, it was not only split but really disfigured because once it split it was continued to respond. And if you're studying art conservation, Lisa suggests be prepared for all kinds of repairs. The fact that we were able to get all this you know, information in the couple years that we were there about all these different kinds of materials and techniques and approaches really allows you for a lot of flexibility. You can apply it to just about anything. You know, I never planned to be a natural science conservator. <laughs> you know, that never even entered my mind until well into my career. So this is where the repair is, right up this wing here. Know what you like and know what your strengths are, but be open to lots of different kinds of things.